Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a fruit salad today with a lemony cashew dressing and I have a cashew yogurt to make that dressing with. Usually I make my lemony cashew cream, I call it, call it, call it, call it with cashew nuts. But this time I have a cashew yogurt, you see? This is um, cashews and water and a certain bacteria, acidophilia they're called, yogurt bacteria, I blend it and then I store it in a warm place for a night or a, or a day and then I have yogurt. And I fill this one, well this is empty until here, I fill up with cashew milk again, a thick cashew milk, and the next day it's yogurt again. So how to do that? Uh, you can watch a video under this video, it's a link, you'll find how to make a cashew yogurt. It's fantastic, it's delicious, a little bit Every yogurt is different, coconut yogurt, almond yogurt, or whatever have cashew, they're all different. Texture and flavor and so, I like this a lot now. I've tried for a damn time. I make my lemony cashew cream now with yogurt instead of cashews. It's a little bit more refined, it's a little bit more sophisticated flavor. Let's see what's like. So I have with lemony cashew cream, I usually have um, the cashews and bananas and lemon, of course. Yeah, and the cashews. Here are the bananas. I have three bananas. One lemon, peeled. Yeah. I put them into a blender all together. Lemon and banana is a wonderful combination because the banana is a complex flavor and the lemon brings that out. Yeah. Usually a, lemon is, a banana is sweet, we would say, but put a little bit of lemon to it and the, it's like flourishing. The, fl the fl flavor gets more... Um, yeah, expressive, yeah, per perfectly fitting, matching. So that is the, ba the base. And then I have um, a date and the lemon zest, you see? Lemon zest, that's from the lemon I just put in there. The green color or the red, the yellow color from the round. That is that the most of the nutrients are in that zest. So it's very, uh, very healthy and can have a wonderful flavor. I will uh, tune it here a little bit with the, moderate with the dates. The lemon is sour and the dates make it sweet and together with the lemon zest I have a lemony flavor that's balanced. And then of course the slightly sour and tart yogurt. Yeah, I don't need that much. I will take you show you what it looks like. Here that's what looks yogurt looks like. Homemade yogurt. Yeah. See? I will put um I will begin with ah oh, let's see one Two, three, four large tablespoons, a little bit more, so it's a heaping tablespoons. So I have some left, I can make a new batch of yogurt, just put some, some um, cashew milk on top, mix it and then put it in a, in a warm place again. And tomorrow I have another cashew, uh, another cashew yogurt. So this is my uh, dressing today, the cashew yogurt, lemony cashew yogurt dressing. Blender dance. With a cashew nut, I would just use a, do a second blending. Don't know if I need that now. The yogurt is already blended, so maybe that's enough. One blending, but let's taste it. Let's check the flavor and the texture. The texture is quite okay. Hmm. Wow. Oh yeah. I like the lemony cashew cream already a lot. Now with the yogurt it's really more, I, I guess I have to use some water. I'll wait for a moment. i do that maybe later. It's a little bit thick. Maybe some water. Uh, that depends always on the bananas for example, on the lemons that can be juicier. Lemons can be, uh, bananas can be softer, riper, less and the more 
um, firm they are, the more water I need. Maybe I will need some more water, let's see. Uh, but first I put my fruit together, the fruit salad. This fruit salad is special because usually I take two ingredients, two main fruit, maybe uh, let's say a plum and a strawberry or so. Um, that is a very interesting always to find out how two fruit play together, how I can use them together. Sometimes it doesn't work, yeah? I have to do something else to make it work, but these two combinations or three with very small numbers are challenging a little bit. So I explore each single ingredient, how they work, these, these, these plants, these fruit, you know, what I have. Today I make a difference. I have different, uh, a larger number of ingredients. I have, you see, I have, um, first I have a plum and a small, a small amount, yeah. Uh, so a plum here, they're right in season. And I think together with an orange, uh, plum and orange together, that is something intuitively I, I like together immediately. The plum is a sweet, sour flavor and a firm texture. And the, the orange is juicy and it is sweeter. It has more sweetness to it. Yeah. It's a sweet fruit, by the way. And it's juicy. And so the juiciness that it corresponds to the fleshy uh, texture of the plum and the sweetness corresponds to the nicely corresponds to the uh, to the sweet sour of the plum. So I might that might be nice. I'll try that now. And then I have a grape, very sweet and very watery, a uh, juicy. Yeah, that's a very sweet fruit. You see, I have a small amount of all these single fruit. I want to make not such a large fruit salad. So normal fruit salad for one person for a whole meal, and a small amount of fruit and a large number of ingredients. So that is easier because if you have many ingredients, many fruit, you can't really go wrong because they balance each other. You have a large number of fruit, yeah? that means you have different textures, different colors, different flavors. And so if one is too sweet, the other automatically almost will balance it. It is difficult to make only a fruit salad with two ingredients. That can go wrong, but with a large number, you almost never go wrong. So, I have the first three here. They fit together, I would say. And now I have apple and pear, number five and four here, apple and pear, one each. Yeah, small, amount, small amount. That is together apple and pear. Apple and pear is a classic for a fruit salad. In my family, it was always, and the banana too. These were all classics. A banana was an every fruit salad. It's something like the neutral element. Yeah, the, the apples have a firm texture <clears throat> and you need to balance that with something um, like the banana, the sweet thing. You can put it in all kinds of, almost all kinds of fruit salads. Like a canvas, you paint a picture, yeah, with the colors, the paint on the canvas, the canvas, the background, that would say something like the banana here. Banana is for a fruit salad with a large number of ingredients. Oftentimes the banana has such a background to me by, to compare it to a, to a painting. <laughs> yeah. So these are my ingredients, the six main ingredients. And to that, I put my dressing. And together with the dressing, I put two dry ingredients to balance my dressing. I have macadamia nuts and um, goji berries. This is a special combination I really love in fruit salads. They are apart from the fruit. Yeah, they are very special, dry, yeah, they're a little bit apart, and a very nice combination. They are a little bit bitter here, tart, and they are also hard and dry and have a savory tone, the macadamia nuts. Very interesting together. I love this combination, and it is to make a, it gives a, a fruit salad oftentimes a really nice a twist, yeah, a zing. It's so a very nice, because fruit is usually sweet and sour, and um, macadamia nuts and goji berries add some tartness to it, some savoriness. Like a very nice seasoning. Also the color and the texture make it very special. I'll keep some of the, uh, the goji berries and some of the macadamias to top, to make it, to, to get decorated a little bit. It's a beautiful, some of the large, um, whole macadamias will be on top together with the uh, goji berries. So this is my fruit salad. It's not that much, you see. The bowl is not even full. That's a nice um, combo. 
lots of ingredients balancing each other out. Still, I hope it might be a nice combo. I go back now to my, my, my dressing, blend one more time, and then I might have to add some more. Let's see. One more blender in. Love these fruit salads, especially with a large number. It's really like a whole meal. You know, all these different ingredients, they have all very different nutrients, hundred thousands of phytonutrients we know already, more than hundred thousand, and each plant can have a up to thousand or so, hundred or thousand, so large numbers, and all these phytonutrients they play together and can be very nutritious, nutritious. And so that's your fruit salad is really Really powerful, really <laughs> very filling. Let's let's taste now the dressing again. Let's see if I need some more water. Oh, mm. Mm, no, mm. no, mm. no, <laughs> no. I won't just take it as it has a wonderful flavor. I don't want to put water in there. I could, but I don't need. I think. See, it's not that much. It's a wonderful um, lemony flavor here. And the lemony flavor comes really from the zest. The sour flavor comes more from the flesh and the juice from the lemon. But the lemony flavor, the red, what, what makes the lemon lemony, that is the, the color outside, the yellow or green what kind of lemon you have, that depends. And it is a really nice balance here with the dates and with the yogurt. Also adds a little bit tart and sour. It's very, a very interesting flavor. I love it. Yeah, um, pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I, I had never made that before. This lemony um, cashew yogurt uh, cream. I didn't never made that before. It's very excited. Show you in a moment what it looks like. I will first toss now uh, the salad with the dressing. And now I will see if it works, or I would I have rather have put some more water in the dressing. But usually the fruit, especially when you have so many different fruit here, like the grapes and the oranges, they have a lot of juice inside. They would usually release some of the juice, and then the dressing uh, turns a little bit runnier just by sitting in the fruit salad. So I felt it might work. It looks nice. Looks like a, it's like a one pot here. <laughs> yeah. um, so I like these fruit salads, especially um, it's nice to have also at night when I have a dinner, for example. Uh, sometimes I begin with a fruit salad in the morning because it's a light way to start a day. By very energy, energetic, your fruit salad is light and gives a lot of energy. The sugar is in the fruit, very healthy. It gives a push to start a day. It's nice. But sometimes, um, I also like a fruit salad at night, yeah, before going to bed, I mean, not, not, not very short before, but uh, dinner, yeah, dinner time, not too late. Yeah, it's very light too, and it's not, it prepares me for the night in a nice way, because a heavy meal at night um, could also be a little bit bearing on the sleep. Yeah. So, and also the next morning, when I had a fruit salad at, 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 for dinner, uh, it's a very nice way to get up. Yeah. It's very light, it's very easy to get up in the morning um, when I had a fruit salad before. But usually I don't do that because I had my fruit salad all the, already in the morning, because that's my usual breakfast. But as I said, sometimes it can be very nice. And I found uh, the sleep does, it's, it's, it's nice to have a sleep after a fruit salad. So that is not a heavy meal. And sleep and having a meal doesn't go well together. Doesn't go so well together, usually. M mostly. It is not always the same. For some people, it is different, especially if you want to gain weight. Yeah? Some people want to gain weight, they, they, they feel they are too light. Yeah? And then it is a good thing to have a heavier meal at night. It can be good because it's easier than to gain weight. But usually, um, that is not the rule. But there are always exceptions for these kind of things. Uh, people are so different <laughs> yeah, with their needs. Not so many things are really general rules in food, with the food combining 
um, most things can be different. What we know is for sure the whole food plant-based diet with a great variety is our best diet. That's what we know for sure. Always provided you have enough food. People that have no food, okay, for them anything is healthy yeah, because otherwise they would starve. So, so that's, everything is relative, so even that, but usually for us we can say the scientific evidence, whole food, plant-based diet, that's for all people usually. So I put now um, my, um, my, my decoration on top, uh, the, the, the goji berries. They are super high in antioxidants. Yeah. I love goji berries. Uh, I always try to get organic because they can be um, pesticides on it. So I read that once, but um, other fruit or so not so important. But the goji berries, I heard, uh, better to have organic one. So there I try to get them organic. And they'll taste much better when they are organic, I found. So, and the macadamias on top. And you look what I have. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> a little round trip here. <laughs> yeah, that's my dinner now. And I can't wait. And if it's too much, when I put the rest in the refrigerator, all these ingredients will be tomorrow. Even better, maybe, because they are, they are so... Um, they are firm, mostly, and they release the flavor into the dressing, and the flavor might be even better tomorrow. But, of course, very delicious already now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and you vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.